Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jeff here. Welcome back to a Skycraft 2 tutorial. This time we're looking at how to make an infinite lava source. Now, if you saw a previous. Oh, wow, 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 wow. No, no. Oh. Hey guys, it's Jeff here. Welcome back. Um, that was a bit of a disaster. <laughs> Don't play with lava. Okay, let's put this lava bucket back and uh, hopefully I have everything. Um, I think what I was saying was that if you saw a previous episode, you would have seen how to make this uh, automatic cobblestone generator with water, lava and the transfer node in the middle. Um, so we're going to use that. We're going to send the cobblestone off to crucibles. I hope I've got everything back. Um, I've only got one crucible. Okay. I thought I had a few more, maybe I lost a few in the lava, but that's okay. Uh, we're just going to use a single one then, and that will do. But basically, basically we're going to need, um, I think we'll do it this way. We're going to need an autonomous activator, and uh, in front of that, we're going to put a crucible. Um, the autonomous activator acts just like a, a regular Minecraft player, so it can right-click. Um, let's have a look here. It can right-click, it can left-click. It does need to be powered. Um, so we'll figure that out in a second. Uh, what we're going to do first of all is heat this crucible. Uh, we're going to put some netherrack down and I'm going to use my flint and steel um, just to set that on fire. Um, okay, so we've got cobblestone here. Uh, we do need the mining upgrade, um, which I don't have at the moment. Let's go and steal a mining upgrade from, uh, from over here. Some testing I've been doing uh, over here. Let's go and have a look. Uh, where is this one? Okay. I'm going to steal the mining upgrade uh, over here. Um, so let's just go and grab this uh, this mining upgrade. Let's put it in the transfer node so that we can get this uh, mining the cobblestone. Just like that. Fantastic. Now we do have some pipes here. I've got 62 transfer pipes. We're going to send these across. Um, we do need to send this, um, this cobblestone into the autonomous activator. We are going to have to power it as well. Um, luckily I do have a lava generator here which is fairly easy to make. They are fairly expensive to run on fuel but it's just uh, gold ingots, a uh, block of iron, a furnace and two bits of redstone and you can make the lava generator. Um, so we're going to put this down. Um, actually we're not going to worry about the piping are we? What I might do is actually just put the put the lava generator right here. You can use the energy pipes, um, the energy nodes to transfer energy uh, into these autonomous activators. But you can also just sit the lava generator just right next to it and it will automatically power it uh, once it does have lava in there. I do have some lava, so let's 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 put some lava in there. Uh, let's have a look. Um, actually, we should wait to power that. Um, it does save the energy. Oh, what's this doing? Okay, yeah, the autonomous activator is uh, is filling up with energy there, so you can see that's working. Um, let's just grab a few more buckets of lava and make sure it has uh, plenty of power to keep going for quite a long time, for quite a long while. There we go, fantastic. So what we're going to do is um, click on the autonomous activator. We want it to uh, bring in items from the, uh, the left-hand side here. So let's see if we can uh, connect this up uh, with the piping here. And uh, hopefully this is going to be okay. I'm going to shift click uh, to put that pipe right there. And then we're going to have to go down and around just like that. And uh, let's see if this is actually uh, working. Okay, look at that. We've got cobblestone in there. Fantastic. Um, so what's happening is the... Um, the cobblestone generator is producing cobblestone. Uh, it's sending it into the autonom autonomous activator. The lava generator is powered up with lava and it's um, telling the autonomous activator to, to right click here. So it's, it's putting cobblestone uh, into the crucible here. So that's basically what's happening. And obviously that's lit now, so we are getting lava coming into the crucible. But we want to we go a little bit further than this. We want to be able to store the lava somehow. So we have these tanks, and the tanks are fairly easy to make. Um, well, you will need obsidian. You need four bits of obsidian uh, with glass panes uh, in the middle, just like that. And you can make these tanks, and they kind of... Um, fit together no matter how you you place them um, they will I can't even destroy this one now that's okay we're gonna have a big a big tank like this um, so it fits together just like that now we will need a fluid transfer node so um, retrieval node liquids we could use that one or we could use a retrieval transfer node liquids okay so we're gonna put a liquid transfer node uh, on the crucible which means it's going to grab the liquids from inside the crucible. So it's going to grab all the lava. Um, as you can see, it is filling up with lava here. And we're going to pipe this into the tanks. So let's try this and see if it works. 
Is this working? There we go, it's working! We've got lava coming into the tanks, fantastic! So that is how you make infinite lava in Sky Factory 2. And as you can see, that's, uh, that's going up slowly, 147, 149, 150. Now ordinarily, I wanted to set up three crucibles, um, so it would go three times faster, but uh, one crucible um, is enough to see how it actually works. So we do have lava coming in there, which is fantastic. So the cobblestone is generated in the auto cobblestone generator. It goes into the autonomous activator, which is powered by the lava generator. It automatically right clicks and places cobblestone into the crucible. Um, the crucible is heated, so the cobblestone is melted. The liquids are transferred out of the transfer node uh, over into these tanks. Now the transfer node um, is a little bit difficult to make, I think. Let's have a look at this one. Um, actually, no, it's not too bad. You just need an ender pearl. Um, a, a, a pipe, some lapis lazuli, an iron ingot, and a bucket. And that gives you four transfer nodes for liquid. So it's fairly easy to make. Um, everything here is, is pretty easy to make. And uh, you can also send this lava back around uh, into the lava generator so it's, uh, it's self-powered as well. So that is how you make an infinite lava in Minecraft Sky Factory 2. I hope this has been helpful. We'll see you all again soon for the next um, Sky Factory 2 tutorial. Bye!